Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about domain and range of functions. Actually, I want to answer this question. What is a function domain and range? Basically, every function has a domain. In simple term, domain of a function is the set of all values that can be plugged in into a function to result in a real number for that specific function. Therefore, for the domain of functions, we should avoid division by zero, logarithm of negative numbers and zero, and square roots of negative numbers uh, are the other case that we should avoid. And for the range, we can easily say that the set of outputs of that specific function for the domain are considered as the range. Let's look at one example. The example that we have in here is f of x equals to y equals to 3 over x minus 2. And we want to find the domain of this function. If we look at this function, we can easily see that we can plug in any number, any real number inside it, and the function is going to be defined. However, if we plug in 2, the real number 2 inside of this function instead of x, the result is going to be undefined because the denom denominator is going to be a zero number. Therefore, the, the domain of this function is any real number except x equal to 2. For the range of this function, what we have to do is to rewrite this in, in actually in terms of y. So what we will have is x equals to 3 over y plus 2. And again, for this function, uh, in terms of y, it is always defined rather than the case when y is equal to 0. So if we plug in y equal to 0 inside the, this function, the denominator is going to be a 0 value. Therefore, this is going to be an undefined function. Uh, and from there, the, the range of this function is going to be any real number rather than y equal to 0. Let's look at another example. This, is, this, this example has been extracted from a recent midterm from University of California, Berkeley. As you can see in here, you can plug in any real numbers inside this function rather than the case when x is equal to 3. If you plug in x equal to 3 in here, what, what would be the, the case is this is going to be a zero number. So the denominator is going to be zero number. Therefore, the f of x is going to be undefined. So for this case, the domain again is going to be any real number rather than x equal to three. And we can have this two way of actually uh, notation for writing the domain, like what we have in here and the other cases in here. Let's look at another example, and this one is a little bit more complicated. We have a square root of minus sine in power of 2 uh, pi x. And we are looking for the domain of this function. As you, you know, for, for this case, whatever we have inside this square root should be uh, bigger than zero or at least zero. So from there we can write minus sine a square uh, a squared pi x should be bigger than zero. Therefore, sine to the power of two pi x should be less than or equal to zero. And it is impossible for sine to the power of two pi x to be less than zero because it's going to be always a real number. So the only case that we have for here is sine in power of two pi x equal to zero. And now this, in order to solve this actually equation, we have to look for which cases we will have sine in power of two pi x equal to zero. And from the definition, any times that we have integer number instead of x times pi, 
this equation is going to be 0 therefore pi x equals to k pi is the answer for this uh, equation in here so if you plug in any like 1 pi 2 pi 3 pi or even 0 pi or negative uh, 1 pi negative 2 pi and plug it in here it is going to give us a zero value and therefore this in here is going to be zero two from there we can say that the domain of this function is integer numbers and the range of this function because whatever you plug in there because the answer is k pi and whatever you plug in there is going to be zero so domain is integer numbers and the range is going to be zero now we have a good understanding from what is domain and what is range I have one homework for you guys let's look at this function we have f of x equals to x to the power of 2 minus x to the power of 4 and we want to find the domain for the case when uh, instead of x we have 2x minus 1 so we want to find the domain of f 2x minus 1 the hint is that we have to plug in 2x minus 1 instead of x in here and then find domain of that function. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Uh, please solve this homework and practice as much as you can to learn the domain and the range and to be ready for solving the problems in your exams. Thanks for watching this video.